Every day, a large adult tiger appeared at the gate of the Indian military base. The striped predator walked for a long time along the fence, as if trying to attract the attention of the soldiers. The soldiers were surprised, and the commander forbade them to kill the large animal, as tigers in India are protected by the government. At the same time, the soldiers were constantly on edge because some of them had bad experiences with tigers in their home villages. In the end, the soldiers' concern reached the commander, who understood that a little more and one of them would make a fatal shot at the lone predator. Then the commander called a zoologist he knew in a neighboring town and asked him to help. The specialist was surprised by his friend's unusual request, but agreed to come to the military base. Having reached the place, the zoologist listened with surprise to the excited soldiers. The specialist said that this is extremely unusual behavior for a large predator, which tries to stay away from people and appears in their settlements only in search of prey. The zoologist observed the tiger's movements for two days, after which he returned to the commander and suggested that the striped predator did not appear here in search of food. A huge cat, for some unknown reason, was desperately trying to attract people's attention. At the zoologist's request, the commander agreed to allocate some brave soldiers to follow the tiger and try to find out what it was trying to show them. The ten soldiers volunteered to help, knowing full well that the wily predator was probably trying to lure them into a trap. The zoologist explained to his small squad that they should silently follow the predator, trying not to provoke it into aggression. Just in case, taking weapons and supplies for several days, a group of soldiers waited for the next appearance of a large predator at the gates of the military base. As usual, after walking for a while at the fence, the disappointed beast returned to the jungle. The zoologist and the soldiers immediately followed him, trying not to get close to the predator and trying not to lose sight of him. The tiger, of course, noticed the men, but it did not seem to be bothered at all by the fact that the soldiers were following him. However, as darkness fell, the tiger seemed to vanish into thin air. The soldiers had no choice but to make camp and light a fire, leaving a couple of men on duty just in case. When the sun rose, the tiger still did not appear. The soldiers decided that the cunning predator had lured them into his hunting grounds in this way, but the zoologist, in spite of everything, was confident in his conclusions. After some time, the tracker discovered the tracks of the tiger, and the whole squad followed them until they finally reached a stormy river in the middle of the jungle. The tracks of the predator ended at the water, which meant that he had probably swum across the river. The zoologist knew very well that tigers were excellent swimmers, but it was unlikely that he would willingly dive into the turbulent stream, which was most dangerous after the monsoon rains. Suddenly, one of the soldiers noticed a striped predator standing on a small rocky island in the river at some distance from them. The soldiers walked along the shore, found the shallowest and safest place to cross the river and walked towards the beast. Seeing people approaching, the tiger moved a little to the side. When the men reached the place where the predator had just stood, they heard an unusual squeak, which came from somewhere below and was barely recognizable because of the powerful current. The soldiers began to throw large stones aside, realizing that there was someone under them. Finally dealing with all the rocks, the group found a small hole underneath them. Shining a flashlight, people saw four blue eyes that belonged to two little tiger cubs. The zoologist realized that the cubs were trapped, and the soldiers quickly pulled the remaining stones aside. As it turned out, the tiger they were following was a female. The predator must have gone hunting, leaving her cubs in the cave, which was then washed away by a powerful current. The cave was then blocked by rocks, and the tigress that appeared after could not help the cubs in any way. The predator realized that without outside help her cubs would die, so she was forced to ask people for help, risking her life every day. The soldiers carefully took the tiger cubs out of the cave and left the cubs not far from their mother tigress. The people immediately stepped aside, allowing the distressed tigress to finally reunite with her cubs. The predator began to gently lick her tiger cubs, and people watched this from the sidelines with smiles. After that, the soldiers went back, and the tigress only once appeared near the military base, as if to thank the kind people for their invaluable help and then disappeared into the jungle forever.